Well, there's about 30 minutes left in the first night of the Democratic debate. Tim Ryan is getting a little more action right now. In the first hour, he only answered two questions about jobs and immigration. Since then, he's answered a couple of more. With what's happened in the last half hour, here's 27 First News reporter Jacob Thompson live in Warren. Yes, Stan and Mandy. So he answered a question about school safety, getting trauma counselors into the schools to prevent things from like the Parkland shooting happen. And just about five minutes ago, he was questioned about carbon tax, kind of redirected the question, saying that the Democratic Party has lost connection to the workers, and he's, we, he said that they need to get them back on their side. Now, joining me now is a volunteer from the Tim Ryan campaign. I'm going to ask you, how do you think Tim has done so far? He got two more questions within a matter of the last half hour. How's that look for him? I think Tim Ryan's doing very well. He started off his first question. He was talking about um, the fact that we're in economic distress in this part, in this part of the state and around the whole country. And I believe what really makes Tim Ryan unique is that we have to, he has to put into perspective that we need to get back on track as a party and focus on the dignity of work in all people and not just be a coastal party on either end. Does he look like he is suiting up well against some of the heavy hitters, such as like Beverly Warren and Cory Booker? How do you think he's doing against those, those bigger candidates? I think he's doing very well. Congressman Ryan has been answering the questions. He believe he's answered all three questions in a very positive and a very consistent way. What do you think he needs to do in the last half hour to set a, set a tone? I think his main message should be in this campaign. It should be all about economics and the dignity of work, restoring workers' rights, and making America a truly prosperous place for all people. And if he could focus on that, which I believe is his core message in the last part of the debate, I believe he's going to be in a very good spot going forward. Now we'll give you one last checkup at First News at 11. After the debate's over, we'll do a review of how Tim Ryan has done. But for now, live in Niles, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.